Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And I'm Keith. And the rest of you are very, very lucky because we're on a brand new episode out on the lake. Out on the lake. We Yay! got away! We Woo got away. What a beautiful day. Yes. 60 degrees. Oh yeah. No birds. No birds. Clear Sun sky. is shining. <laughs> you know. What you more could you ask for? You can't win them all. Keith. No, you can't. That's that's what I'm saying, and we're just happy to be out anyway. Yes, exactly. We're not in the office. Yes. So thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we are showing off our brand new uh, duck blind today. Yes, we are. Yes. Compliments uh, of uh, backwater performance. Backwater performance. Absolutely. And our uh, our boy Juan. Yes. Who put this together for us? Uh, so big thanks to all of those. Um, Luckily, we picked the best day to duck hunt in the whole world, so we I, don't know how effective it is. Yes, I don't think it's going to be effective. Today, I don't think we're going to get anything, but uh, we are happy to be out anyway. It was a little nervous when we drove up in the parking lot, and there was, what, three boats, four? There were. Yeah. Yes. So, it's, uh... so, I don't know. But it is still early, yes. so the ducks will probably come in just, you know, as soon as we're done here. And if that happens, we will, uh, maybe we'll pop back on and give them another... Give him another live, another little taste of how it's going. Oh, there we are. Oh, okay. can we see? Excellent. Here we go. Oh, we can see, and uh, if you can hear me too, shout out, let me know. I can hear you. Uh, sure. <laughs> yes, good. Um, so today, what are we doing today? Sitting in the marsh? Yes. Sweating? We are, is that all? <laughs> That's all we're doing today. Um, I do have a few things that I've got to talk about. Um, but definitely send in your questions because we will be answering all of those. Um, we've got some good, a good time to uh, Q and A today, and then um, I've got a few things to talk about, so we'll we'll go through that. Prizes. I do have a few things to give away, which is going to be really awesome. Um, <laughs> but before, while everybody's jumping on Keith, before all of that happens, Keith, what's been going on? How's your week? Week been busy. The phone has been ringing off the hook. Ricky, Micah, and I have just uh, right. overly worked this you know, week. A lot of places, they're just like weeks full away. Uh, weeks away, some weeks of them, away. and other ones like us are just going full bore, except for today. Well, you know, us <laughs> not going full bore. But. Yes, yes. So it, it's been good. I, I got to sneak out Saturday morning to a local uh, place. Was a little bit slow. We shot five birds. Did you? Yeah, we broke a lot of ice. Very nice. A lot of ice on uh, Saturday. We went. They, we even went out in the afternoon. Ooh. So uh, yeah. yeah, it was. Uh, it was but all right. The old bomber just plowed right through it. Nice. Plowed right through it. Very good. Very good. I want to have a little bit to talk about about educating people. Oh. We were out. We'd been set up for probably two or three hours. And uh, one of the guys that we were with, he, Rob, he rolled out a little early in his own boat. And uh, so my son-in-law and I were out there by ourselves. And all of a sudden we hear some shooting right behind us. And I stand up on the front of the boat. I know the ring's right in my way. I know, yeah. I know you got the ring right there. And, and uh, I'm standing up on the front of the bow of the boat. And I look, 100 yards behind us, these guys just set up right on top of us. So, uh, you know, if that did, ruined the rest of our hunt. Yeah, seriously. And they were all set up to shoot swans. Ah. And not uh, ducks. But they were shooting everything that rolled by them and wasn't making it to us. So we learned a little bit of patience, but uh, definitely need a lot more education for some people and uh, and manners. And I'm sure that's the first time, because I don't public hunt a lot, that I've had that happen to me. So it's right. uh, it was very frustrating. It was a little frustrating. Yes. I'm sure. Yes. Always so the worst. We were calling swans when they were calling swans. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, it was fun. It was a good day out in the water. Kind of cool, but it was fun. How about uh, anything exciting in your world? That was a mosquito. I know there are bugs. <laughs> there are a lot of bugs. No, nothing. Uh, no, I had a pretty, pretty normal week. Nothing exciting. I didn't. I didn't get out at all last weekend, which is too bad. Yes. But uh, no, just yeah, busy like everybody else. A lot, oh, of, a lot, lot of, of a lot of new stuff happening over on the boat side of the yeah, a lot the of company, a lot of boat stuff, which is really exciting. Um, all sorts of all sorts of good stuff. So. so I gotta throw a shout out to our shop manager Ian. He says buy a motor. Oh yes. He says, if you haven't <laughs> bought one, buy it now. We've got them in stock and we're ready to rock and roll. Yes. If you need something uh, special, camo, special gearing, not a big deal. We can throw it together in a matter of a couple days and get you out hunting. Absolutely. So for you guys in Arkansas, 
If you're still waiting for that right opportunity to buy a Mud Buddy, now is that time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Absolutely. All right, how about some uh, shout outs here? Oh, we got, I got, uh, why, did you see something? No. Oh. Decoys. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think oh. that's all we're going to see. So what uh, what spread did you throw out there? I, I kind of threw a modified, weak version of the the V or a Christmas tree, upside down Christmas tree. Sure. Kind of, you know, the mud here is really thick, and I'm still Chrysler Keith running on seven and a half cylinders, so I didn't want to get too wild with a with too big of a spread yep. because <laughs> with uh, my conditions and uh, our uh, ability to run through that muck. Right. God, that stuff is nasty. Yeah, it's it's thick. And you got out there and wandered around for a minute. I did. I was out taking pictures and was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna face plant in this. <laughs> and lose yeah. my camera and everything else. And the water here is kind of deep, so when you go it's down, it's surprisingly deep. You're right gonna here. be I know. underwater. We didn't, we didn't pick the shallowest spot. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Real good. Okay, so a couple of call outs for us here. Um, we got Andy Johnson on. Hey, Andy, the boat doctor. Andy, in the Louisiana. boat doctor. Amazing dealer, it. customer service, um, performance. And, yes, Andrew Hagen is on. He says it looks warm. Hey, it's guys, it looks 80, warm. It is 60 degrees. It is 60 degrees out here. Yes, it it's a little warm. Really, really nice. I thought it was going to be all right this morning. The wind kind of picked up, and it was kind of... Kind of nice duck one. I know. I was thinking it was going to be just right, and it was not. It, it just is I mean, it's, it's so warm. It's so beautiful. I can't even put my uh, long sleeve <sighs> shirt on. No. To hide from the ducks. He so likes to duck kind of in his dress shirts. He's like, mm, I'm going to get all fancy. All I have <laughs> is my big heavy coat because it was cold this morning. It was it was cold this so morning. So I'm not putting it on until I have to. So this is me anticipating and not shooting any ducks. Yeah, yeah, we're not really there. Casey Brady says, it's sunbathing kind of day, guys. Not much for waterfowl hunting. No. Good to get out of the office, though. That's That was our, that's the whole thing. That's hey, exactly right. Casey. We're out of the office. Casey, we're waiting, baby. Um, you, plus... You, you know, when we get out here, we're much nicer, more likely to give things away. Yes. You know? We did bring some stuff. I did. I brought some stuff. I have stuff. something that I can't show, and I'm really disappointed. Ugh, don't even start with me. Yes. Yeah, Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it how Jeff's the being day goes. mean to me, you guys. <laughs> Tell Jeff to be nice. <laughs> Actually, it's just going to cause a lot of commotion. All it is, yeah. And that's me. <sighs> I know. <laughs> they are bad right now. I thought they'd all be dead by now. Seriously. <laughs> Alumalai Marine is on. Nick. Uh, Andrew Hagen, uh, ducky weather in Michigan. Lucky. Lucky you. Hey, Nick, Illumilite, give Ricky a call at the shop, 801-352-8011. He can help you with the question that I wasn't able to get to before I left. He can help you out with that. So give Enrique a call. Yeah. Or wait till tomorrow morning. Ask him for the fire special. <laughs> fire special. Doug Wynn is on as well. He says, hey, guys, hey, we have Doug. the duck weather there today, too. Is that yes. in, K in Kentucky? So, well, was it Doug part of the uh, the fishing? Yes, the fishing crew yesterday. Yes, yesterday. I actually didn't get to see it. Tell us about that, Keith. So it was like put on the fish, catch, quit screwing, catch and release. Catch and release. Yeah. Yes, quit screwing around and talking. Fry the fish. <laughs> That's all I was thinking. It was like, and then uh, our, my my good buddy Jeremy Co. He's just standing in the backfield in the background. Once they got the fish going. He was just eating the fish. <laughs> and the other ones were arguing the pan's too hot, the pan's too cold, how much oil, not enough oil. You know, It was kind of funny. That's what I have learned. <laughs> I have learned that about Jay Paul, that he is, he's a great, he's a great cook. And he's very passionate about it. Yes. And when you get somebody that's that passionate about it, he'll yell at you. Yes. He'll let you have it. You don't, was, don't mess uh, that up. There was some dissension in the ranks. I think <laughs> Doug just kind of stayed in the background a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was a it was a good show though. I enjoyed it. I I watched it later. Yes. And so it was it was good. They were fun. But yes, Doug was there helping them out. In fact, that's uh, Doug's boat that they were standing in front of. Oh, was it? Yes, it's his beautiful Bay Pro two thirty. Okay. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous boat. Oh, that was a that was a green wing teal. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to call it? No. <laughs> I didn't bring my call, Jeff. Whatever, you absolutely have it. I've, in There's fact, some, I can see uh, right there. Geese from behind us. And those of you who ever want to come swan hunting in Utah, the swans are here. Um, it's going to get better as the weather gets colder. So put in for a swan tag. Yeah. Jeff will guide you. Uh huh. <laughs> sure will. <laughs> um, let's see. Yep, uh, Johnny Briggs back in the boat. It's the best place to be. It's oh, where yeah, we're the definitely. most happy. Absolutely. 
Well, that and I, this, like, I needed to get it out and try it with the uh, with the blind on it. And let yes. me let me tell you how I feel. You don't like it. I don't like it. Not even a little bit. <laughs> well, that's because you're not you're not I, duck hunting yet. I, I walked out and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go. I was bringing back the the uh, salty log, or not the salty log, the assassin the log. The assassin log. The salty log. That's funny. The assassin log. I was just gonna put it back in the in the pocket over there. I couldn't get in the boat. <laughs> I had to go clear the back, trying to figure out how to get over all of this stuff. It was kind of a huge pain. Yes, you could have just. This is going to be boat. a challenge. That I mean, you're driving down the road and it's just flopping big and in flopping, the and it, I. What am I supposed to take fishing? This you just have to be a little more careful. No, everything is in the You'll way. Be and it's kind of, the fish won't see you. Uh, I, it's not. It's not my favorite. So we better get some ducks here in a little bit. Will and we can take it off in. Otherwise, it's February not worth it. when it comes off, and then you can have just it not for worth fishing. It. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alicia is watching. Hey, Alicia. Alicia. How are you? Everybody call. Everybody call my buddy right now and say, say hi, hi, Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably gonna shoot us when we get back. And if you don't know the main number, it's 801-352-8011. <laughs> Brooks Catmull. <laughs> Brooks. Come on, man. Be nice to me. Okay. Um, he says, Keith's attention is out in front of the boat and has his gun. Jeffrey, where is your shotgun? I thought we were on the right path with the beard. Listen. Listen. I, I did trim up a little bit. What's up with that? I, uh, I'm trying something new. <laughs> You're trying I'm to trying something that? new. No, look. I'm Because it's... it's uh, no shave November, mustache November, right. whatever you choose to uh, go. So I'm I'm working on focusing out my uh, my mustache. And oh. I've, got, I've got a little wax and I've got I've got points coming in. You got some. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. So the beard, I'm sorry, is not. I mean, but it's it's still there, but it's kind of it's short. I, I need to get, I need to get it trimmed up a little bit because it's getting a little. But I I'm not going to do it till after November. Yeah, I mean that's just ridiculous. Jeremy Coe is watching. Hey, Jeremy. Yes, Jeremy. It is warmer than it is in Kentucky. I guarantee you. It is. It's a summer day. We should be. Uh, we should be shooting in our shorts and. We really flops, should. Right? I mean, we should. I, I'm just here to get a suntan. That's all I'm here for. Sunburn. That's why you're always sitting there with your beanie on. Because. <laughs> Actually, it's more of I'm getting stabbed by all these little grass things. The irritation. Of yes, and grass. I'll get I'll get some uh, some mosquitoes gonna. Put a big, put a big old, head. yeah, swollen <laughs> nub on the back of my head. It's gonna be awesome. Um, Andrew Livingston, looks like you guys are doing the same thing you do when you're at the shop. Nothing. <laughs> well, I guess somebody didn't want to. Nobody. I guess he doesn't want. Andrew doesn't want a hat. Andrew doesn't want a hat. He doesn't Sorry, want a hat. He doesn't Andrew. want a shirt. Doesn't want a call. Sorry, Andrew. We have an echo call today too, don't we? I do. I've got an echo call that I'm gonna the give away today. Is that what it is, or is it yes. a... No, it's a trash talker. It's a trash talker. We've got some not a really, hanger. really nice ones coming up for our Thanksgiving giveaway, probably in, what, two weeks? Yes. And two, our Christmas giveaway, some really two nice... Two weeks. You I know, it is... The XLT yeah. um, calls from Echo they that really, were donated by Rick really Dunn are. and the boys. It is very possible that we might not even be in this state. You know, I may be somewhere else. Just Sam, which is gonna be really awesome. Uh, Jeremy Cole, the fish tasted great. Um, Ethan Nimmer, thank you guys so much for getting my motor fixed. I absolutely love it and can't wait to take it out with swan, swan hunting next week. Awesome, Ethan, appreciate that. Yeah, Ethan came by the shop last Thursday. Yes. And uh, had a long tail, have a little bit of, I had a couple wires in the wrong place. He just bought this machine. All right. And. Uh, Ricky was and Ricky was cool enough. He ran downstairs and uh, hooked him up, changed him a couple up. Yeah. wires around, and got, that got him a couple up. parts and hooked him up with a really nice, ex or a mud buddy uh, Sitka beanie like nice. you got on. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. So uh, very you're good. welcome. And I happen to know uh, Ethan's grandpa real well. Oh, very good. Yeah, really good dude. Really good family. So, Ethan, anytime, bro. We're here for you. Um, Adrian Martinez, hola amigo. Awesome. Uh, Phil Bustos, question, what should the idle speed for a 37 HDR in Florida be? That's an EFI, so it's kind of controlled by the ECU, but it should, it'll should it probably be around the 900 range, maybe a little bit higher um, is where they'll be. There's ways to adjust them, but it's not real fun, but you can adjust a little bit. You can give Enrique a call at the shop. Uh, he can help you out or go to the Mud Buddy website down in the right hand corner of the little chat mm -hmm. uh, he can help you out there you know what i have still 
You've never you've never answered on the chat. I've never answered it. Okay, on listen. It. If you go to the chat, just be like, I will. I refuse to talk to anybody but Keith. But I will make know, him get will, on there. I will not know that. <laughs> I know, Ricky. I'll have to pass it off. <laughs> he's really he's ready. To, I mean, it's hopefully when it calms down a little bit here in a couple of weeks, I'll uh, we'll get into it. We'll get into we'll it. We'll see what it's all about. We'll do some right training. Now, It'll be awesome. Right now, I'm overwhelmed with what I have. Mark Harrell in the house. So cold here in Florida. Yeah, he's probably about ninety. <laughs> Hey, Mark, we feel your pain today, man. Yeah, right. 60 blue skies and no ducks. And a lot of fanny because the bugs. Are... I know, they are. I thought the bugs would be dead by yeah, now. Yeah, right. They are vicious right now. Frank King, what's going on, my friend? See any birds? Not one. Uh, Actually, no, that's not true. I saw you saw a teal. One. We you saw, saw one teal. teal. Yeah. But when we're out here in Farmington, somewhere between bridge two and three, uh, we didn't kick up any birds running out here in the salty. No. Nothing. We got a lot of coots running around like crazy, but, uh, and then the, of course, the official state bird, which has more than once, I'm sure, been dropped because it's uh, sneaking us on sneaking up behind you and catching you with your not paying attention to what you're shooting. Yeah. I personally have not done that yet. Um, okay, hold on, though. I was going to give, let's see. We need a really good question for the echo call. I'm not well, just I, I it like, to anybody. Oh, okay. Well, I like that question. I like Phil's question about the idle speed. Okay. That was a good one. But, That's a uh, good shirt one or a hat one. Yeah, I've got a shirt. I've got a shirt. Here, hold this. Do I need to show it to you? Actually, I need to write it down. You Sorry. Need to I gotta write get, it. You need the I got to get the lock. All right. Um, I hope you don't want me to see this. Oh, jeez. You. It's the same thing with... Uh, With Jay Paul as well. He's like, yeah, I know. He's like, I can't read anything. He's always got his glasses going on. It's ridiculous. Casey All right. James Brady, is that the BPS blind? Yes, that is. It's not homemade. Yes, come this on, is, Casey. This is the good blind. Yes, this is a good blind. I uh, made a call out to our good friends at uh, Backwater Performance, and they uh, donated all the framework and the hardware, and we had all the grass at the shop. So we uh, gave that assignment to our uh, Good friend Juan, and those of yes. you who watched last year remember Juan. He was the prop challenge. Yes, he was a prop challenge champion. Champion as running yeah. around the shop and changing the props. So he was. He put the. He's a uh, installation guy for the props. So he did a great job and <laughs> did it pretty quick because uh, he did it Friday after, bef right after work and had it done in a couple hours. So yeah, he really. You he local guys it. need your blind put on. Give Come us a call. Juan, yes, give us a call. absolutely. Um, Phil Bustas. I've got a, it's that, it, it'll be the brown HDR shirt. Brown, the brown you, Mud Buddy the shirt. black or gray? It, well, I guess some people think it's ground, gray, but I think it's brown. Okay. It's so I'm going to call it ground. Oh, ground. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. It's uh, it's not the black one. No, it's, it's not the that, black one. It's that it's grayish, gray brownish t-shirt. So, yes. uh, Phil, if you will send us a private message with your shirt size and your address, I'm going to yes. get that sent off to you. And we'll get that off. Yes. We will hand that over to our dear friend Alicia, mm -hmm. and she will get that off. To Absolutely. You. What else we got going on? I here? don't know. I can't see. Okay, Frank King. What's going on, my friend? See any birds? Oh, South Carolina went from ninety to forty like overnight. I want a hat. Okay. All right. <laughs> you can have a hat. We're all right with that, Frank. Because you endured mm. the same thing we did. Because a couple weeks ago we were up in the seventies, and then. On the weekend, and then on Monday we were like in the twenties. So, Frank, that, I, yeah, the twenties yes. should have killed all these bugs that are really flying around. Should have? What in the world? They hide out in these these cattails. We're not um, even seeing a lot of seagulls today. Oh no, there are no birds. <laughs> There's like nothing in the air. Um, Frankie, I'm going to send you a tan hat. Send me a uh, PM with your info. Is that Please. the Sitka? No, hat? no, that'll be the Mud Buddy tan. The Mud Buddy tan. Yep. Oh, the A two two twelve. That's if, a part number. If you must. Oh, yes. Man. Very good. I've uh, been trying to get a straight bill XL hat since day one. What? Who's that? Well, then, yeah, that's Frank. Then Frank. I'm going to send you that one. Flat cap, flat brim, absolutely. I will everybody do that. wants the, the trucker's flat brim. No, everybody hates it because it's flat brim. Team, team flat brim, absolutely. Uh, Frank, that's what I'm going to send you instead. So there you go. Is that the BPS blind? Yes, it is. Doug Wynn, hey, Jay Paul, where are the fish and the grease? Pro staffers bail him out again. That's funny because he forgot all of that stuff. People had to bring it for him. I know. Way to go, Jay. I know. 
I know. Way to step up, pro staffers. Way to step up, pro staffers. Keeping them, keeping them moving. Um, James McDowell, watching from work, wishing I was out hunting. Well, you know, I wish I wish there was more I could do for you. I could call your boss or something. I don't know. That's I mean, gonna go. Like, hey, this is Jeffrey from the Shallow Water. Uh, you don't know me, but I'm famous. <laughs> so you need to let James out of work right now. <laughs> With pay. With pay. I think James would probably go home without pay. <laughs> 44 EFI ideal at around 1,000 to 1,200 RPM. Frank helping to answer that's, the questions. That's good. The whole Thanks. deal for BPS. That's in Ricky is watching and answering the questions before we get to him. I got a question. I switched out my Raptor for a big blade, but I still need more torque. What are my options? I told my dealer I wanted the biggest Mud Buddy available in 2018. I have a 44 HDR EFI. What is my next option? Um... What kind of gearing do you have? We can get you some more RPM with the gearing change. Right down below your oil filter, there's the oil drain plug. There's a number to the left, to the right. Get those numbers to uh, Enrique or myself. You can go down to the chat box in the uh, Mud Buddy webpage and, and uh, put those numbers in there and we can let you know how we can help you change the gearing and get you some more RPM. What kind of RPM are you running right now? Yeah. Let us know what kind of RPM you're running, and that might help us. But yeah, we can do a little bit more with the gearing. Good. So, yeah. always an option. There's always options. There's always Absolutely. options. And if not, you can buy the HDR50 that's behind me that you can't see because we have it covered. We've got it covered up, yeah. We're trying to look professional. We're, you know, we were hoping to get some ducks, or at least set up. You know, it's a practice setup. That's what we're doing. We're practicing yeah. our setup There's skills. a coot swimming over here that might get it before the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Blasted right out of the water. Rick Hillicoss is watching. Hey, Rick. He says, birds moving south, snow on the way. All right. I hope I'll, so. I'll hold you to it. Yeah, we had to, I had a couple good shoots last week, but this week, uh, well, it's just Wednesday. I was thinking about going out Saturday, but eh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, Mark Harrell asks... A lot of questions. Oh, I guess he's replying to Peter. That grip that is on the handle in front of you, how do I order one? Just the grip. Just a grip, call Backwater Performance, ask for Travis, and get a grip. Yes. He can help you out. Yeah, I used to know the part number, but I got a bug bite right there, and it's Oh, pizza. dang it. Yeah, Chrysler right Keith is going down. Chrysler Keith is being Are you allergic? Alive. I don't know. So I'm glad I wear my long sleeves. <laughs> you were all making fun of me over yeah. my long sleeves out oh, here. where's but... the bug spray at? We keep the bug spray in the boat. That is true. That is true. TJ Owings, opening day is Saturday for me in Missouri, ready to let the mud buddy eat. Hell yeah, I want pictures. I hope you get some shooting in too. Not all about the mud buddy. You gotta shoot too. We quit flaming them my way, man. I was like, <laughs> here, go get Keith. We were breaking one and a half inches of ice in the XL last Thursday in Farmington Bay, and look at how warm it is there now. I know. Crazy that's, weather. That's Rob Rasmussen. Yeah. I absolutely, I, I know. It was like that on Saturday at Ogden Bay. Whoops, I just told them where I went. But that's all. I live close to Ogden Bay, so it was yeah. nice. But yeah, we were busting an inch and a half, and that was. One o'clock, but the ride in at six thirty that night, most of the ice was gone. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, no, we're going, Casey Brady. Too much longer, and we'll catch West Nile out here. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, Casey um, Brady, we're still looking for a nice hunt. You know, Casey, hook, I'm also hook. looking for pictures of that special thing oh. we got you. Yeah. So we got to remount uh, that in our boat. Well, Peter, that'll be next trip. Peter Gibbons. Peter? What does he want? I'm going to give him something. What should we give Peter? I don't know. Has he got a good question? He's the one about the, the raptor. Oh. That was Why a pretty didn't we good do question? that at the beginning? Because I would... Jeez. That would be like some other things that happen today, but we won't go into that. <laughs> Peter Gibbons. He asked about the, the prop. No, no options that, for that. that. That's been about our best question so far. Huh? I know. Yeah, I think do? so. All right. He gets the trash talker. All right. Peter Gibbons, I, I got a duck call for you. I got an echo call for you, my friend. Send me a private message with your uh, with your info, and I'm going to get that sent off to you. It's green, isn't it? Yes. That's Last the year they were gold. They were gold. This year it's green. Yes. We don't care what color they are because Rick and Dunn and the boys donated them, and we'll take them. Yeah, it's awesome. And they're a good call. A well, good all-around really call. call for beginner, intermediate, or advanced. So. Okay, great. Good, okay. Yes, Peter Gibbons, really sweet. I'm dead serious. If you want me here, I'll even pull it out and show you. I, I brought it with me today. That's how 
good I am. I should even pick up this camera too and kind of show. Hey, you're rocking the boat. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, you're rocking the boat. Can you tell me what that's from, Keith? Can anybody tell me what that's from? What? That song. It's from a show. Oh no, I have no clue. Timber, double read. Echo. That's the one. Echo call. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. It's a good one. Timber double Made seven. by hunters for hunters. Yeah. Ouch. World champion duck caller, Rick Dunn. Rick Dunn. Rick Dunn of the boys. Seagulls. <laughs> Shoot them. We'll, go, we'll take them home and eat them. Yeah. They're just coming off the dump, man. You got it. There's probably a nice find being a state bird if you get caught shooting one of those. I don't know. We no. Just, you're in the marsh. I know. Well, good. Okay. Frankie Duck season. Not yet. It's just here. Still chase the bucks. Oh, yeah. Everybody's still doing, uh, you know, they're they're still deer hunting, really. Deer hunting? Out there. All right. Hunting for those well. of you who are getting ready to hunt, make sure you've checked your oil, plugs, filter, got good fresh gas, uh, throttle cables, especially if it's cold. You want to make sure you got all the moisture out of those before you get into the marsh. Give it the old WD-40 squirt out at home so you don't have any problems down the road. Yes. We don't want any problems down the road. Okay, so now I've got something very important to talk oh, about. Oh, it's important. It's important. Enough of this nonsense going on here. You need something. I need something. I have a favor to ask, and I always repay my favors. So this is what we're going to do. I am... Desperate. <laughs> no. Well, maybe. <laughs> Not yet, but but close to. No, I I am creating some new material for Mud Buddy right now. I'm in the process. We're doing this. But I need some great new photos. And I would like to ask for all of your help. Is what I need, I need some really cool pictures of an HDR 35. I need a really amazing pictures, multiple pictures of that of that 35, and then I also need the Kohler 25. The Kohler 25. Yes, those two in particular. I need some stellar, awesome pictures. So who comes up with the best stellar, awesome photo gets? This is what I'm gonna do. I am willing to do this I hope, if I hope it's good. Oh, I don't know if I can say this. This might be too much. I was going to, oh, I don't know. Just do it. Okay. For the best picture of, for the best picture, I have a prop. I've, I've got a prop of your choice. A prop? Well, that's a, that's a good prize. That's yes. That's nice how bad gift. I need these, these images. The very best image that I love the most. The winner gets. I will, I will give you a prop for that picture. That's almost a three hundred dollar value. I know, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Also, is what I could do, and I know a lot of you are like, "Well, I run a, I run a forty, and it's like, oh, too bad. Find a friend that's yes. got a, that's got the thirty five. Find a friend. Yeah, find a friend, find a friend a and take him out exactly. Um, but I need a lot of pictures. So if I end up using your picture in this material, if I use it, I will send you a shirt and a prop. Well, oh. because one of you will, one of you Once. maybe will get both. Yes, but that's why I was gonna, I was gonna say I'll give a prop to everybody if I use your picture. But I need, I need multiple, and I you can't need, send out a whole bunch. Of you props. can't send it. Yeah. Yes. We need those for so them. if I end up using your image, I will send you a shirt for it. If and then the one that I love best out of all of those, I will send a prop. Okay. I need these like ASAP though. Yesterday. Like yesterday. So, gather up, go through your your phone, your camera, find me. 35 HDR 35 and the Kohler 25 those are the ones I need the most clean dirty awesome amazing sunsets in use ducks on them whatever I like send me everything um, and I'm gonna try and use these we'll give you photo credit as well like printed like we will take care of you absolutely on these um, so that is my favor and my promise and you're on Facebook Live, so it's, it's let it be written. Let, let it, it be, be written. Let it be done. There yes, absolutely. What movie so, was that? I know what movie that is. <laughs> yes, that's the Ten Commandments. Yes, and I love Charlie it. Hess. But I don't think anybody knows what I was singing there just a minute no. ago. I don't think anybody. No, even. I don't think I didn't catch it because it wasn't like Metallica or Five Finger Death Punch or 
some of those things I listen to at my age. Yeah, see, Casey's like, yeah, I only have I only have the five thousand and a and a six thousand. Well, like, Casey, well, run you know? by the shop, grab a <laughs> sticker, <laughs> and take care of that. Uh, Cody filler up stock mud buddy twenty three long tail is maxing out at thirty three fifty to thirty four RPMs nine by five props. Is this ideal or should I be seeing higher? Where do you live? Elevation makes a lot of difference with those. Okay. So that's probably not bad with that motor right around in there. How wore out is your prop? Get yeah, all good questions. So yeah. So that's so, the info we need to answer that that uh, that question. But good question nonetheless. Do I get a hat? You don't. But if you want to give Cody one, I've got another brown hat we can give out. I've got the that tan that tan hat. Oh, the A212. Yes, let's give him a hat. I like okay. that question. All right, Cody, fill her up. Send me a PM with your info, and I'm going to get that out to you. And you mean you. info, like full name, your, shipping, yes, address? Yes, your address at the place where code? I am going to send this. Yes, where is your it full going? address, the name of your firstborn, and your social security number, and uh, visa your number visa too, number with the code. With the code. <laughs> no. We promise we'll keep it under 50 bucks. <laughs> a day. <laughs> It's just a pretty view sitting here. It is really it's nice. It's not what out I here. came out here for, but it's a pretty view. See the little bit of snow up on the mountains. See okay. up into Bountiful, up into the uh, up into that area. Okay, Brooks, guessing my twenty three mini isn't good enough. Listen, so those minis will be a different it's a different piece of material. So I'm not saying that I won't need it in some future date, but for right now. 23 minis are always important. They're great little motors. Clint has one. It's that one of my most baby, favorite motors, no doubt about that it. little baby gets him and I where we want to go. No, I absolutely love that motor. It's just, just not, the, it's not the image that I need right, right. now. You're sliding. Another seagull. What are you swatting at? Oh, he's reading. I'm reading. You want to hear a couple shots? Um... Clint Wynn, um, Keith is going to get to that question here in a little bit um, when we get back to the office, probably tomorrow, because that, that one's a little more involved. Or if Ricky's on there now. If Ricky is on there now, he may, or you even cut and paste that right into the chat in the website, and, ha and Ricky can, can answer that. Uh, Cody Filler up with that question, is, he's in Utah. Cody, come by the shop and get it. <laughs> we can save money. Yeah, he's the one that he's got the the his long tail is maxing out. That's oh, that gotcha. question. Yes, he's he's so he's a high elevation guy. Yes. Check Cody how wide your prop is. Measure the width from the two farthest points. Make sure it's a full nine inches and it's not wore out. Wore out prop will uh, easiest way guys to tell a good prop from a bad prop is your speeds will decrease, your RPMs will increase. Good indication that uh, your pop's prop is on its way out. Besides just giving it the old measure job, because we get a lot of calls and they want to know if they say, well, my, my prop looks good. Well, just because it looks good doesn't mean it is good. Yes. If it's sharp enough to pull out and shave with, it's good enough to be replaced. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hunter Bundrick, any birds? No. Not a one, Hunter. There's like not even seagulls out here today. Hunter, are you guys hunting? He's Hunter lives down in Texas. Yes. Yes, he does. He's a good, he's a, he's a good Facebook guy. Always willing to help out, and he's got some great comments. TJ Owen, what kind of bird activity have y'all had where you're at? Today has been bad, but the rest of most of the season has actually been pretty good. Yeah, I went out a week ago, Monday. Um, teal, widgeon, and mallards were really good. Saturday, uh, quite a few teal, a few uh, a few mallards, not many where we were at, but um, it was good pretty much most of all last week. This week's been. A little bit slower unless you hit the right spot or you're doing what we don't do and that's scout yes because uh scouting makes a lot of difference 100 percent. i have a good friend i just make a phone call i call him the duck man i'm not going to tell you his name and he he sends up he, he sends us some pretty good tips yes at least from the info that i get good. we haven't struck struck gold yet but well i mean but we i i figured today so it's was our second be, time out so you know we uh we got time. We got time. Hunter Bundrick says, opening morning for East Texas is Saturday. Going to stack me up. Stack them up, baby. Stack them up. up. 
It's going to be awesome. Rack them up, stack them up, and send the photos. And, and send remember, the photos. If you send us the photos, guys, you're giving us the license to yes. post them on Instagram, MudBuddy, wherever. We'll share them. Yes, absolutely. Unless they're inappropriate. Well, I make no well. <laughs> I make no guarantees. Um, good, but definitely the 35s and the 25 Kohler HDRs. That is what I need the most. Send those in, and we'll get some prizes out for those. Three hundred dollar okay. prize. Yeah, that's a big one. It's gonna be really Hope awesome. You don't lose your job for that. I know. <laughs> you won't. I. Uh, it's a proper. Thing. Maybe somebody else will lose their job for that. Maybe Bye. I'll fire somebody. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Awesome. Very good. Saturday. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think we are going to end it there and see if we can't... Oh, Casey Brady's got bigger birds on, on his mind, like cranes and geese. Whoa. Casey, I remember talking to you earlier this year about geese and hunting. Yeah. Don't forget us. Yes. Uh, but we're going to end it there. Um, next week, we will probably be back in the shop doing something fun and crazy, we I need hope. To, do we need to do some type of... Uh challenge well i yes that Something. is definitely what we're supposed to be doing in fact it may be the prop challenge next week with two different people yeah maybe some new not me not you I can't run not you and i no I no no that. i can put the prop on but no we I just can't run that far we'll do but something fun will be happening maybe next we week that's a tag tag team type oh, like a relay a relay there we go it could be fun have them run around the building three yes times i also or... still want to do another uh trailer reverse challenge i really did have a good time with that last time oh yeah uh-huh Sure uh -huh. you did. Huh. Slide the seat all the way up. Uh, that was pretty fun. Yeah, five foot six versus six foot four. Yeah, really fun. Yes, for you. I thought it worked out real good. It did. Yeah, I just like my fishing motive. Hey <laughs> Jeff, can you take my fish off the line? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, good. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week right here in the shallow water. Bye. You have to get up and do it this time. Is that my turn? It's your turn. Because the gun's in my way. All right.